If we could observe a wormhole, it would closely resemble a black hole, being rounded and spherical. Light would pass through it, creating a window to a remote place. Once crossed to the other side, this place would be fully visible, while the origin of the journey would shrink into a spherical window. However, are they real or simply magic disguised as physics and mathematics? If they exist, how do they work? And where can we find them? For most of history, we believed space was quite simple, a vast, flat stage where the universe's events unfold. Even if you remove the set of planets and stars, something remains. That empty stage is space, which exists immutable and eternal. However, Einstein's theory of relativity changed everything. It posits that the stage is composed of space and time, which are not the same everywhere, and that what exists on the stage can affect the stage itself, stretching and distorting it. If the original was like solid planks, Einstein's is more like a waterbed. This type of elastic space can be bent, even broken and patched, allowing for the existence of wormholes. Our universe is like a large flat sheet properly folded. A wormhole could connect two very, very distant points with a small bridge that would be crossed almost instantaneously. This would allow us to travel through the universe even faster than the speed of light. But where do we find a wormhole? Currently, they only exist on paper. General relativity states they could exist, but that doesn't mean they do. General relativity is a mathematical theory, a set of equations with many possible answers. But not all math describes reality. In any case, in theory, they are possible and come in different types. Beyond theoretical wormholes, there's the possibility that the universe itself is a vast wormhole. Some scientists have proposed that our universe could be just a small part of a larger universe, connected through a cosmic wormhole. This idea is based on the theory of cosmic inflation, which suggests that the universe expanded exponentially in its early moments. If this expansion continued indefinitely, multiple universes could have been generated connected by wormholes. If this theory were true, it would mean our own universe could be just a window to a vast and fascinating multiverse. Exploring this possibility opens new frontiers for scientific research and understanding the fundamental nature of the cosmos. The first type theorized was the Einstein-Rosen bridge, which describes each black hole as a kind of portal to an infinite parallel universe. Empty space-time is flat, but objects within it curve it. If we compress the object, space-time curves more around it. Eventually, space-time is so deformed that it has no choice but to collapse into a black hole and form a barrier in one direction only. The event horizon, where everything can enter, but nothing can leave, trapped forever in the singularity at its core. But perhaps there's no singularity at all. One possibility is that the other side of the event horizon resembles our universe, albeit with the image upside down and time running backward in our universe. Things enter the black hole in the past, with time reversing. The mirror black hole spits things out, a bit like a white hole. It's a pity that Einstein-Rosen bridges can't be crossed. Reaching the opposite universe would take an infinite amount of time, not to mention that the bridges close in the middle. If one enters a black hole, they don't turn into what comes out of the white hole. They simply die. Therefore, to travel through the cosmos in the blink of an eye, we need another type of wormhole, the traversable one. If string theory correctly describes the universe, we might be lucky and have a tangled network of countless traversable wormholes. Shortly after the Big Bang, the quantum fluctuations of the universe on the smallest scales, much smaller than an atom, could have created countless traversable wormholes. Threaded through them are strings, the so-called cosmic strings. In the first billionth of a billionth of a second after the Big Bang, these tiny wormholes separated light years apart and were scattered throughout the universe. If they were created early in the universe, either with cosmic strings or otherwise, they could be everywhere, waiting for us to discover them. There might even be some closer than we think. As they can look very much alike on the outside, some physicists think that the supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies are actually wormholes. It's going to be very difficult to travel all the way to the center of the Milky Way to find out. But it doesn't matter. There might be another equally challenging way to touch a wormhole, to create one. For it to be traversable and useful, a wormhole needs to have certain properties. First, it must connect two distant parts of space-time, obviously, like the bedroom and the bathroom, or Earth and Jupiter. Second, it must not contain any event horizon since it would block travel in two directions. Third, it must be large enough so that gravitational forces don't kill the travelers. 
The biggest problem to solve is keeping it open. No matter how we manufacture it, gravity will try to close it, wrapping and scrapping it shut, cutting the bridge and leaving only black holes at the ends. Whether it's a traversable wormhole with both ends in ours, or from one universe to another, it will try to close unless we put something to keep it open. With wormholes from string theory, it's the mission of cosmic strings. For manufactured ones, we're going to need another ingredient, exotic matter. Exotic matter isn't something we find on Earth, not even antimatter. It's something entirely new, different, and exciting with unimaginable properties never seen before. Exotic matter is matter with negative mass. Positive mass, like people, planets, and everything else in the universe, is attracted by gravity. But negative mass would be repulsive, pushing you away, generating a kind of anti-gravity that would keep wormholes open and exert enormous pressure to keep space-time open even greater than the pressure at the core of a neutron star. With exotic matter, we could weave space-time at our whim. It seems that there might even be a candidate for exotic matter, empty space itself. Quantum fluctuations of empty space constantly create pairs of particles and antiparticles that, an instant later, annihilate each other. Empty space is teeming with them, and we can already manipulate them to produce a similar effect to the negative mass we seek they would allow us to stabilize our wormholes. Once kept open, the ends would start at the same time, so we'll have to move them to interesting places. We could start by wiring the solar system, leaving one end in orbit around Earth, throwing others into deep space, turning Earth into a hub of traversable wormholes of an immense interstellar human civilization, distributed over light years, but only a wormhole away. However, there's a dark side. Just by opening one, the universe would fragment in many ways. Paradoxes could be created by time travel and transgressing the causal structure of the universe. Many scientists think that this, besides implying that manufacturing them is impossible, also means that they can't exist. For now, we only know they're in our hearts and on paper, in the form of equations. Beyond the possible practical uses of wormholes, their mere existence has huge implications for our understanding of the universe. If these space-time bridges were real, it would mean that space-time isn't a simple passive fabric, but a dynamic, malleable entity. This would force us to rethink fundamental concepts like the nature of time, causality, and the structure of the cosmos. Even the possibility of traversing wormholes to reach other universes or dimensions questions the notion that our universe is all that exists. Research in this field can open new frontiers in physics, cosmology, and philosophy leading us to a deeper understanding of the universe's deepest mysteries. Don't forget to leave a comment with your theories or ideas of what you just saw, and likewise leave your like and share the videos as that helps us a lot.